Today we are in Corona, Queens, New York for the groundbreaking of Hanek's 68 unit senior housing residence. Such a huge need for senior housing, affordable senior housing. People don't have the money to be able to pay this horrendous rents that exist. To me it was amazing, it was a lifesaver. Uh, looking for senior housing is a nightmare. To put it bluntly. This building is being built following passive house standards which will ensure energy efficiency uh, and long-term cost savings. So a truly intergenerational sustainable project that we should all be very very proud of to support. We started working on the Hanna Corona project. There weren't many passive house projects of this size completed in the United States and we were one of the first affordable housing um, projects to be started of this, of this magnitude. We recently did a survey of the building stock that's happening in the New York region, and we have over three million square feet in the pipeline. I think this project gave a lot of other developers uh, faith that th things could move ahead. What I like about the passive house concept, it's simple, it's a performance-based building method. There are five main principles to passive house design. We begin with continuous high R-value insulation, then add a high-performance air tightness layer, strive to minimize thermal bridges, install high-performance windows, and finally add a ventilation system with heat recovery. All of these design elements work together to achieve the passive house performance criteria. What makes this project unique is that it's going to tackle passive house in a multifamily setting, and it's going to be a part of a elite group of only a handful of projects in North America that are, are going to be built to the passive house standard. This was the first passive house project that the Division of Special Needs Housing at HPD funded, um, and so there was a lot of just uh, learning on our end about what passive house is and what the benefits are. An innovative thing about this project is that we're trying to scale up the, the passive house construction process. There's going to be a lot of due diligence to make sure that this project achieves the, the targets. I'm so proud of this project. I'm so proud of what Hannick does for our quality of life here in the borough of Queens. It's really incredible and sort of a reminder of how cold it is today and how warm it's going to be in, in, in the future. From the Association of Energy Affordability, we have David Happ installed. The project really is a strong step in the progress of Passive House, not just in New York, the New York region, but in North America. As consultants, we're able to help guide and provide resources to have this project come to fruition. This is a project that's going to stand out. This is a project that's going to lead by example. We're going to do things that most folks are going to say that it's impossible, that you can't do in the multifamily setting. Mm -hmm.